before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Irazaka from the servants of Yahweh Y Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much in this lesson is going to be titled as Hispanics and Native American Indians are Israelites. Hispanics and Native American Indians are Israelites. Now, before I start this lesson, if you a person that has a different doctrine, you don't believe that Hispanics and Native American Indians are Israelites, do not comment on this comment board. You don't believe that? That's totally fine. Go debate another Israelite group. Go talk to another Israelite group. Do not comment on my channel. If you have a disagreement, you don't believe that Hispanics and Native American Indians are Israelites, do not watch this video. I don't want your comment. I don't want your opinion. I don't give a fuck about that. You go and teach your doctrine. Go work out your salvation. I don't want your comment. I don't care. I don't care what you got to say. Israelites are not Negro descent. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about that. This is for the sincere brothers and sisters that's learning. This is to prove in the scriptures that so-called Hispanics and Native American Indians are Israelites. Lord one is that's out of fine. This is Second Kings seventeen and seven. And notice, it said, why Israel fell? The northern kingdom fell first. The northern kingdom fell first, then the southern kingdom. So let's get it. This is 2 Kings 17 and 7. For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their power. Right? We sinned against our power. We broke the law, statutes, and commandments. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We broke the old covenant. It says, which had brought them up out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And had feared other gods. Verse 8. And walked in the statutes of the heathen. That was our downfall as Israelites. We walked in the way of, this, of the heathen nations. This is why we're at the bottom today. This is why we're suffering. This is why we're under the curses. Because we walked in the way of the heathen. We've forsaken our power to follow the heathen. We started worshiping Baal. All these false gods etc. So the Lord put us through a temporal punishment. We're still going through that temporal punishment. But. Later down the line, in the future, the Lord is going to uplift that punishment from off of us. He's going to uplift those curses off of us, and he's going to put them on the heathen. He's going to put it on Esau. But right now, we're suffering the afflictions of our forefathers for breaking the laws of statutes and commandments. If you want to read about that, go to Deuteronomy, the, the, the 28th chapter, and it goes into that. We're in those curses. We're under the curses due to our forefathers breaking the laws of statutes and commandments. They didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. They broke the old covenant. Second Kings 17 and 8. And walked in the statutes of the heathen whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel. Right. When you go to Leviticus, the 18th chapter and the 24th verse, the Lord cast out the, the heathens, the heathen nations. Right. The Lord gave us a codified law to keep. Started from Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We were given the law, statutes, and commandments. But the Lord cast out the 17 heathen nations. That's why the 17 heathen nations, they had their own gods, their own inhabitants of land, right? You can read that in Deuteronomy uh, 32, uh, 8 through 9. When the Lord said he set the bounds of the number of the children of Israel, right? That's who the Lord made a covenant with. Starting from Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Israelites. Verse 8, and walked in the statutes of the heathen whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel and of the kings of Israel, which they made. Verse 9, and, ch and the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord their power. Right. They started doing idolatry. They started walking in the ways of the heathen. And they built them high places in the, all their cities from the tower of their watchmen to the, to the fenced city. Verse 10, and they set them up images of groves in every high hill and under every green tree. We didn't walk in the ways of the Lord. We were being wicked. Verse 11, and there they burnt incense in all the high places and did the heathen, right? 
as did the heathen whom the Lord carried away before them and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. See, we we put we provoked the Lord to anger. All right. We we rebelled against the Heavenly Father. He gave us the laws and statutes and commandments and we didn't we didn't keep it. We provoked the Lord to anger. We worship other gods. We started following the ways of the heathen and that angered the Lord. Verse 12, for they served idols, whereof the Lord has said unto them, ye shall not do this thing. Verse 13, yet the Lord testified against Israel and against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers. A seer is a prophet. That's what a seer is. It says, saying, turn ye from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes. See, we didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. It says, according to all the law which I commanded your fathers, in which I sent you by my servant the prophets. Now withstanding, they would not hear. Verse 14. Now withstanding, they would not hear, but harden their necks. See, we rebelled against the Heavenly Father. We didn't keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. We started falling away to heathens. We provoked the Lord to anger. We broke the old covenant. So this is what the Lord did to us. It says, like it says, it says, like to the neck of, of their fathers, they did not believe in the Lord, their power. See, verse verse 15, they rejected his statutes. That's what we did as the people and his covenant that he made with their fathers and his testimonies, which he testified against them. And they followed vanity. That's what happened to us as a people. We were wicked. We started going off. Right. We were we didn't keep the law, statutes and commandments. It says and became vain and went after the heathen that were round about them. We started following the ways of the heathen. Instead of following the ways of the Lord, we started following the ways of the heathen. We drove the Lord to anger. It says concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them. The Lord didn't want us being like the other nations. That's why he gave us a codified law to keep. But we didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We broke the old covenant. Verse 16, and they left all the commandments of the Lord their power. See? Right? It says, and they left all the commandments of the Lord their power and made them molten images. See? They created all these images. These these false gods and started worshiping them, right? Multi images, even two calves, and made a grove and worship all the hosts of heaven and serve Baal. See, started falling away to heathen, started worshiping false gods, false deities. That was other laws that just commands. The Lord said not to worship gods, and that's what we started doing as a people. We started forsaking our true power and started worshiping idols. That pissed the Lord off. Verse seventeen, and they caused their sons and daughters to pass through the fire. And used divination of enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord. See, we provoke the Lord to anger. It says to provoke him to anger. See, we anger the Lord. So this is what the Lord did as a punishment. Verse 18. Therefore, the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. Talking about the northern kingdom. So the northern kingdom fell first. The rain, the ones that remained was the, was the southern kingdom. Right. It says, and therefore the Lord was very angry at Israel. Israel, Israel is the northern kingdom, right? Which consists of the, of the rest of the ten tribes. Then you had the southern kingdom, which consists of the three tribes, which is Judah as, as its capital, right? Because you had Judah, which is the southern kingdom, and you had Israel, which was the northern kingdom. Because after King Solomon sinned, the kingdom was split into two kingdoms. You had the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Verse 18, therefore, the Lord was very angry with Israel, talking about the northern kingdom, and removed them out of their sight. And there was none left but the tribe of Judah only, talking about the southern kingdom, because that's that will that's the only that's the only kingdom that was left. Now. The southern kingdom. I mean, the northern kingdom, they went into captivity to the Assyrians, the Assyrians took down the northern kingdom. This is second Edris 1340. Right. It says those it says those are the 10 tribes. Right. Which consists of the of the northern kingdom. So like which consists of the northern kingdom, the 10 tribes, which were carried away prisoner out of their own land. See, out of our own land, the northern kingdom fell first. And actually, let me go back to prove that that the only kingdom that was left was the southern kingdom. Therefore, the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of, out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. And Judah also kept not the, it says, and Judah also kept, kept not the law, not the commandments of the Lord, their power, but walked in the statutes of Israel, which they made. See, verse 20, 
And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel and afflicted them and delivered them into the hand of the spoilers. Talking about the heathen nations until he had cast them out of his sight. So the northern kingdom fell first, then the southern kingdom. And let's read it. This is what it's going into. Now, this is right here specifically talking about the, the, the uh, northern kingdom. Verse 40, it says, those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea the king. Whom Salmanizer, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. See? It's meaning that they were in captivity to the Assyrians. Right? And Assyria is in Mesopotamia, which is now known as Iraq. That's where Assyria, Babylon, all that is. That's all in um, Meso ancient, uh, Mesopotamia, which is now Iraq, which is near the Persian, the Persian, the Persian Gulf Coast. If I'm not mistaken, but I believe that's where the location is at. Brothers and elders, correct me, but I believe I'm not mistaken. That's where uh, Syria, Assyria, Babylon, and all that is. That's in Mesopotamia, which is uh, Iraq today. All right. And it says the king of Salmonizer, it says, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. Verse, verse 41, it says, and they took his counsel amongst themselves, and they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where no man dwelt. So they revolted against the, the Assyrians. They revolted against the Assyrians and they dwelled it in a land where no man dwelt. No, where they, they revolted against the Assyrian, Assyrians. So like I'm jumping ahead, getting tongue tied because I'm excited. So they revolted against the Assyrian authority, the Assyrian rule and went to a land where no man dwelt, which is called the land of Azareth. Verse 42 that they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. See, verse 43, and they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. Euphrates is, is in Mesopotamia as well. That's in Mesopotamia, which is Iraq. You have the Tigris River, the Euphrates River, right? You have a, a, a Hel 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 the Helakai River, Helakai River. That's all in Mesopotamia, which is um, uh, Iraq today. That's where those rivers and all that is at. You can look that up. You guys can look that up. Mesopotamia is Iraq today. That's Mes that's where Mesopotamia is. All right. It says that they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. See, it says that they entered into Euphrates. Again, Euphrates is in Iraq, which is Mesopotamia. That's where the Euphrates River is. It says by the narrow passages of the river. Right. Verse 44. For the it says for the Most High then showed signs for them, and held still the flood right till they were passed over right. So the Lord held down the waves, you know, etc. And it says, verse forty five. For through that country there was a great woe, to namely of the year and a half. It took them a year and a half to get to that land, and the same region is called Azareth. Azareth is this place called America. That's the land of Azareth today. It's originally called Azareth, but they changed it to America. All right. Esau did. It was actually called the land of Azareth, but he changed it and called it America. So that's the land of Azareth. So the Lord, the Most High, gave them the signs and the gifts and the abilities to navigate and use the stars to head to the land, which is called Azareth. So the northern kingdom, right, which is the so-called uh, Hispanics, Native American Indians, right, the Puerto Ricans. Right, the uh, 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 Puerto Ricans, um, the uh, Cubans, right? Um, uh, you're saying those names. That's all the Northern Kingdom. All right, that's there's more and more names to think off the top of the head in the Northern Kingdom. That's all the Northern Kingdom. So the Hispanics and the Native American Indians, they're they're Israelites. They went to a land where no man dwelt, which is this place called America. It's today called America, but it's called the land of Azareth. It's in the scriptures. Now, to prove that, if you look up the Luna Stone, and this is what a lot of these Yah Israelites don't do, the ones that believe that Israelites only Negro descent, you're going off, because all you got to do is look up the Luna Stone. This is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. When you look up the Luna Stone, it has writings of, of the Northern Kingdom carving in in the Paleo Hebrew text. You can look this up. Let me see if I can get closer. You can look this up. You have brothers in GMS, elders and brothers in GMS, that went to this location and literally read these carvings. There's videos that brothers of GMS actually go into this location and, and reading 
the Lasha, this is the Lasha Juan Kodash, the Paleo Hebrew. The Northern Kingdom carved that in there. So for you to say that Hispanics and Native American Indians are not Israelites, you're going off. This is the Luna Stone, and it's carved in Paleo Hebrew. Here it is right here. This is carved in Paleo Hebrew by the Northern Kingdom. So this right here proves everything. If you disagree, that's fine, but I don't need your comment on my comment board. Go work out your salvation. See that? This is all speaking in the, in the Lashawan Kodash, the Paleo Hebrew, man. So this proves that Israelites, the Northern Kingdom, right, which is so-called Hispanics and Native American Indians are Israelites. Yes, they're Israelites. They're Israelites. They are Israelites, man. Again, Hispanics and Native American Indians are Israelites. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Akakudash. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.